Welcome back to the Ed Show, and thanks for watching tonight. Now, this this is the comment here, and, and this is one of the most outrageous things I think I've ever heard. We outnumber them, and we have the guns. That's a direct quote. That was right-wing commentator Andrew Breitbart. It's what he uh, told a Massachusetts Tea Party group of people about their advantage over progressives. Breitbart suggested that literal armed combat is the best way to go. And so there are times where I'm not thinking as clearly as I should. And in those unclear moments, I always think to myself, fire the first shot, bring it on. Because I know who's on our side. And they know that. They can only win a rhetorical and a propaganda where they cannot win. We outnumber them in this country, and we have the gun. So they, <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, yeah, I, they talk to me game, but they will not cross that line because they know what they're dealing with. And I have people who come up to me in the military, major named people in the military who grab me and they go, thank you for what you're doing. We've got your back. And so... <laughs> Joining me now is Eric Bollert, senior fellow at Media Matters, with us here tonight on The Ed Show. Eric, good to have you with us. I, I think the key soundbite in there was clarification that he says, I'm not kidding. Right. I mean, is this for real? What do, you, what do you make of this? Yeah, it is. I mean, the stipulation is, you know, the, these uh, clips were put online. We haven't seen one long clip, but I'm told nothing has been edited out. Uh, there's been no pushback from Breitbart that this was inaccurate or anything like that. Look, this is right-wing paranoid fantasy at its worst, and it is incitement. Painting this picture of a looming revolution on the left, somehow that nurses and teachers and firefighters are going to take to the streets with guns. I mean, it, it's very dangerous, and it's it's, it's very much out of the Glenn Buck playbook. I mean, I hope Glenn Buck has room in his, you know, his bunker of doom for Andrew Breitbart because he's playing the same dangerous game. And, and this delusional talk that, that three and four star generals are going to dispatch troops to Breitbart's Hollywood home when the when the Civil War starts. I mean, give me a break. This is just Bright, completely uh, off the Breitbart. Off the, all, he he also zeroed in on another target. I want to play another clip for you. Here it is. They are the bullies on the playground, and they're starting to realize, what if we were to fight back? What if we were to slap back? You know, these union thugs, these public sector union thugs, I'm just waiting. <laughs> Bring it on. I am sick of it. I'm sick of this Trumpka guy. I'm sick of this John Sweeney. I'm sick of the SEIU. I'm sick of them going to people's homes, executives' homes, and showing up. And so... There's just a part of me that wants them to walk over that line. Can we now label Andrew Breitbart a true revolutionary with a platform, a guy that's on Fox News yeah. whenever Fox wants to go after somebody? This is the guy that called me out for the Rick Perry right. black cloud comment, which, of course, we corrected the following night because there was a, 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 an editing error, and right. we admitted to that on this program. I mean, but, you, you know, th this guy has a platform, Eric. I mean, he's yeah. on Fox a lot, and this guy, is he now a revolutionary? Well, he's, he, we can label him wildly irresponsible. I mean, these are the people that stage Tea Party rallies that show up with loaded guns, which show up with swastika and, and Nazi uh, posters. And and now they're the and, and they denigrate the president every possible way. They use incredibly blatant, violent language. And now they're the ones telling us that the liberals are the ones who, who pose a physical threat to this country. Look, he's on Fox News, but let's be clear, he's also in the mainstream media. And and, and it, it, it's time for the mainstream press to just see him for what he is and just being incredibly irresponsible. I mean, this notion that you know union workers in America are, are pose a physical threat to this country. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. It's it's off the reservation, and he ought to apologize, but he never will. Eric Bollert, Media Matters. Good to have you with us tonight. Thanks, Thanks. so much. To watch Breitbart's comments in full, go to our website, ed.msnbc.com. And coming up in my playbook, a secret FBI investigation reportedly involves several former top aides to Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. John Nichols, he always has the story when it comes to the Badger State.